welcome back to another Let's Build a House. Uh, today we had decided to work on the greenhouse, um, kind of like the canning room, I guess you could call it, and the formal dining room. So first here, um, and the, the video ended up being quite a bit shorter than I had planned. I thought I had spent a lot more time building than what I actually had. So. I apologize that this one actually is going to be probably the shortest um, let's build part, you know, out of all of them that we've done so far. So, but uh, we got quite a bit done. I mean, three rooms, so that's that's good improvement. So, so first, you know, here we are working in the greenhouse. Um, I end up not keeping that sprinkler system. I just didn't really like the way it looked. Um, I've, I've used it before, I thought, in a greenhouse, but for some reason this time I'm just not, I'm just not having it. I just, I just didn't care for it this time. I don't know. So, um, we're just trying, you know, try to decorate it, and um, you're definitely going to need the greenhouse um, from the store because most everything in this greenhouse is from the store. Uh, so. You know, even them little pots I got, you know, from that, uh, from that pack. At least I'm pretty sure anyway. I mean, that's where I was going to get everything. I kind of wanted to use as much greenhouse stuff as I could find, so I went into that category and was just kind of picking and choosing pretty much everything I could use, anything I could find. So, um, so yeah, you're definitely going to need the, the greenhouse, uh, from the store in order you know if you don't that's okay the lot will still work um you could always make it some kind of um you know change out the windows and the furniture and lights and put in the other uh pots for your plants and you could still have a greenhouse it just wouldn't look exactly like the one that you're seeing here you'll just have to replace some of the stuff that you don't have so that is fine. Um, you know, don't worry about it too much if you don't have the content. Uh, it just this lot will still work. So I wanted to put fruit trees in. I mean, because what is the point of a greenhouse if you can't have everything, right? So um, the trees seem to fit and work best in the center, so they weren't clipping through, and I didn't have to move any of the pots. And I was going to have a few of, you know, of different vegetables and stuff like that. And I ended up having more vegetables that I wanted to have in here than I thought. So I ended up having to change some of them out and uh, put in something else in. However, you know, if there's plants in here you don't want. I didn't want to put anything in like the life fruit or the um, money tree or anything like that. Um, you know, if, if you want to, you know, go into buy to bug yourself and change out any of the plants, feel free to do that. That way it fits with the way you play the game. That is fine. Um, I personally have never used the life fruit and I've never used the money tree. I really don't know fully exactly what they do or, you know, how, how to use them or anything like that. I, I don't do that kind of stuff in my game. Honestly, if I if I want a sim to come back from the dead, I just kind of use uh, Master or Enra's um, debug enabler, and I just kind of <laughs> I just kind of do it that way. <laughs> I don't go through the whole deal of making that um, ambrosia or whatever it's called. So, um, yeah, I'm I guess you could say I'm a little lazy when it comes to that. I I don't want to take the time to get my skill up to buy certain fish and I mean I've done it once before you know you know to help remove the ghosts and everything in my town and things like that but I'm I'm not really you know that's not really for me I'd rather just get in there and play and you know not have to worry about it so but anyway um here we're doing uh I kind of thought of this room as like the canning room or like the bakery like I put in the oven from I believe that's the I think that's from the bakery but I didn't want to use any of the um, tile or backsplashes or anything behind them so I just kind of scooted them back just a touch that way it you know gets rid of the backsplash um, the pieces of furniture are still usable so don't worry about that that'll be fine um, but I kind of 
felt that with all you know with the greenhouse and stuff you're gonna want a can and I don't know if you know I've never used any fresh fruits or anything like that for the bakery oven I don't know if you can if the oven will automatically use those items from your inventory or not I have no idea so that is a good thing to you know check and see if that works and maybe let me know when this house is done on whether or not you can use all those fruits for that so now I felt that using the wood from the greenhouse since it was an open room I felt that it would work best so that's why and I thought it looked better that way you know and I really do like the way it looks how it just kind of runs from one room to the next seamlessly like that so I'm glad I had done that there's plenty of shelves in here for all of your canning goods um, of course some of the shelves overlap so you'll actually be able to clutter them up quite a bit more than what you normally would so that's always nice and a few rugs to help protect your floor of course from the jars and you know from the fruits and everything else and then here is the formal dining room like I said this part did not take very long we are already got less than two minutes left uh, the dining room didn't take me very long mostly because it's not very big and I couldn't really add any extra um, not really custom furniture pieces but you know I couldn't really stack anything in here to make different kinds of buffets or anything like that because it just isn't big enough and then I felt this was too much wood so I do change the paneling so don't worry about that the paneling does get changed to something else because it did seem like too much wood to me um, and I apologize if the one chair towards the um, the butler's pantry does not work I think the one of the doors I think is what's causing the problem it didn't want to uh, automatically go into the table uh, so I had to you know do that myself so I'm going to assume that one does not work but I really didn't want to change it I didn't want to change anything to accommodate one chair I mean there's plenty of seating in this house I don't think we're gonna to have to worry about that now them uh, plants that I just put in there uh, them are from the store as well but those are free yes free oh my gosh I was so happy I found those I was told about the Christmas stuff in there because I could never find it and didn't know why I didn't have it and come to find out there was more plants that were free so awesome so try looking up your Christmas stuff if you don't have it and you might find them plants I'm not exactly sure what they're called so um, but they're free I was so excited I love having more plants so and that clock is also from the store but that is all far the only thing used um, and we're getting towards the end of the video here so thank you for watching I hope you enjoyed and leave any suggestions below and I will see you next time have a wonderful day bye